Understanding the Randall Cycle changes how we think about metabolism and nutrition. It reveals that our bodies have sophisticated mechanisms for fuel selection that prioritize cellular protection. Consuming meals with high fat and high carbohydrate content forces the Randall Cycle to make difficult decisions. The mixed signals can lead to suboptimal fuel utilization and potentially contribute to metabolic dysfunction over time. This may explain why some research suggests that diets that minimize simultaneous fat and carbohydrate consumption might offer metabolic advantages for specific individuals. So one of the things I always stress is don't bring in carbohydrates when you're eating fat and protein at the same time, which is where a, car a carnivore type diet is perfect. You're eating fat and protein and you're not taking in any carbohydrates, right? Okay, the Randall cycle also contains an interesting phenomenon. When glucose uptake is inhibited during high fatty acid, acid oxidation, the glucose that isn't oxidized doesn't simply disappear. Instead, it gets rerouted to glycogen, glycogen stores. And glycogen is where your body stores glucose in the muscles and in your liver, right? This mechanism explains the rapid resynthesis of muscle glycogen after exercise and accounts for the increased glycogen content observed in muscles during fasting or diabetes. You're burning when you're fasting or you have diabetes, you're inhibiting glucose. Your body's trying to put that glucose somewhere so it's going to put it as glycogen in your muscles. Your body isn't simply rejecting glucose, it's redirecting the storage when immediate oxidation isn't needed or would be potentially harmful. But remember, if you're eating too many carbs in the first place, you're not giving your body any choice. It's going to switch off the fat burning and go the Randall cycle and it will turn on the uh, glucose burning. Metabolic flexibility versus metabolic wisdom. While much of the discussion revolves around metabolic flexibility, the ability to switch between fat and carbohydrate metabolism, the Randall cycle suggests a more profound concept, metabolic wisdom. Your cells don't simply aim to burn whatever fuel is available. They make sophisticated decisions based on cellular protection, energy needs, and homeostatic regulation. This wisdom reflects millions of years of evolutionary pressure or the way your body was designed. 